Wow. Okay, guys. It's extremely late on my end. But I cannot sleep. And it's not that I can't, it's that I don't want to. And I've been feeling this way for a few days now. I'm just fidgety. I get, there's a lot of energy that is coming through. Um, th I believe this is vlog number 19. And um, <clears throat> I believe it's important to make this video because I need to start talking, like really talking about my purpose and why I'm here. And this is coming to me because I sat down this evening, like <laughs> 10 minutes ago, and I said to myself, God, what is it that you want me to do? And I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it because it replied, he replied and said, and it showed me, it wasn't words, it was a vision of just talking. And going back to the, there was two words, um, original intent. And I need to make a video talking about the original intent of God source energy, the word God, the name God. And guys, I know it's loud and my washer or my dryer's going, I mean, there's just so much energy and I need, I just, if this is clunky, I hope that, that you can hear me. I hope everything is okay on that end. I'll, I'll see you in 15 minutes, but I just have to get this out. And I don't really know how to do it. It's just like any other vlog. I'm just communicating. But I keep getting, getting this idea that it is time, that it is really time to start sharing because more people are listening. When we say the name God, many of us think of the commercialized, institutionalized Christian religion, Christianity. We think of sins, we think of rules, we think of anger and resentment and abuse, trauma, traumatic things have happened in the name of God. And I am here to say that that energy is not God. Well, what is God then, if it's not that? It's experiential, and it's unique to you. so much how do I explain we do not want to fear God we do not want to fear faith and I see that come up in Christian text and people who talk about the power of the, the, the fear of God, you know, it's a fear, or um, 
that's a God-fearing woman, and, you know, it's praised to be God-fearing. And I understand personally where that, what that is, but I feel collectively that causes trauma in the body. That causes resentment in the body to hear those words that we're supposed to fear this imaginary thing. And to even call it imaginary is laughable. Look at everything is getting louder. It's getting harder to communicate, but it's in these times where we must communicate. This is very difficult to explain, but like, it's individual. See, what is God is, it's not those thoughts of doing something wrong. You have not done anything wrong. And I'm going to go as far as to say that your lack of faith still, you have not done anything wrong. You have been protecting yourself. So many of us have been protecting ourselves from this pain, this dogma, this heaviness that this energy imposes on us. And it was designed that way. So good for you for saying no to it. But I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now it's 2020. It's December sixth or seventh. And stuff is happening. Time is picking up. Energy is changing. It's enhancing. And all of that preconceived stuff was never supposed to be real. And what I mean by that is that that was not the original intent. It is very much real. That is the, the reality that we live in, of this fear and dark, dense energy of, of, of vampire nature sucking the souls out of people, the living dead that this is real. But it was never intended to be that way, and that's what this is about right now, is we're going back to the original intent. It's what we're all doing. And I'm being reminded to trust myself, and I'm going to pass that information on to you. Trust yourself. Know your Creator. Know your faith and embody that. Make it physical. And that's this right here, what, what we're doing on this camera. This is how I know to embody my relationship with my Creator, with God. What is yours? It doesn't have to look like this. And we've been told that it has to look like something that's got to stop and it is stopping and it will stop and it has stopped through you because if you're listening to this if you're connecting with this you you know it that's it I'm getting goosebumps you know it you know your relationship with your faith and that is the same thing as my faith it's the same thing and it's the same thing as his faith and, and their faith and her and faith and their faith your mom's faith, your brother's faith. We're all individual expressing ourselves, trusting ourselves, knowing thyself. This is the only person you will ever know. Knowing. 
Knowing comes from experience. Knowing comes from embodying it. You may understand someone. You may connect, but you don't know them. When you know it's, it lives in here. That is God. This is God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you feel the energy? Don't listen to just the words. Do you understand what this is? What this is? I'm trying to communicate to you because things are happening. We're moving through unprecedented times and I'm only following as much as I am leading in my own. I, I know to follow. I know to follow this faith. And as I follow my faith, I get to lead. We don't want to give up our control. Oh, I hope that kept going. We don't want to give up our control. So, so we put off having faith so that we can create some sort of control because faith is far and scary. Faith says quit your job. Faith says leave your partner. Faith says jump into that, that relationship unexpectedly. Faith says go up to that counter where that guy is standing and spark up a conversation because he's about to kill himself. Faith says, says, go, go to this place at this time for no reason. Faith says, wait. Faith says, don't put your shoes on yet. And when we listen to this faith, it's like listening to a toxic, authoritative figure. And I'm telling you that this isn't God. It, it's a lie and it makes me sad. It's a lie. I've been hiding my own faith from the world because of this exact reason. Because I know it hurts a lot of people and I know that talking about it brings up that pain and I never want to do that to anybody. I never want to force my beliefs down anyone's throat and I will never do that because I don't have to because I know that my belief systems are for myself and they get me closer to my creator and God just like yours do. Just like your belief systems have kept you safe and they always will. But I sit here before you and communicate to you to trust that faith. And that I'm sorry that you have been hurt by these authoritative figures in your life and in your experience. Whether someone is doing it with their own free will or they're using God as a scapegoat, as a mask to do it on top of you to say, in the name of God, it's you're this. I'm so sorry. And we, we're going back to the original intent, whether the people who have suppressed the true intent of God <clears throat> want it or not. See, look, <clears throat> I take this right now, this phlegm in my throat, as, as, as something outside of me trying to tell me not to tell you something. And this is so bizarre. This is this is absolutely real. But I'm gonna keep talking, and I I will I will keep talking because it's time, and people are listening. People are listening. People are absorbing. People are being receptive. If this finds you the way it is, was intended to find you, this video right here, you and me, if it finds you the way it was supposed to find you, speak the fuck up. Excuse
excuse my language, but it must be said. Speak up. And I can only say that because of how much I have feared speaking. I can only communicate this to you right now because of how much I've feared this moment. But I'm here right now, and I don't fear it one bit. I have goosebumps running through my body. It's, my veins are open, and my, my mind is clear. And it's not thinking the next step ahead. It is being led. And this is how I know this is meant for you. This is meant for us to share. This is meant for me to communicate. And it was meant for you to listen and watch this. Thank whoever sent this to you. I might wake up tomorrow and feel a little bit nutty and a little bit crazy. But I also know that when I wake up tomorrow that the world's gonna be one step closer to the truth. Fear is not real. It's only a misunderstanding. So one last thing as I close this out is to open your hearts, open your minds like you've never had before. Listen to that. Open your heart and open your mind like you've never have before. You've never been asked to be this open before. You've never been asked to have this much faith. Know your own faith and know yourself and trust it because in there lies the truth. And in, in, in truth is where God lives. We don't have to defend it. We don't have to defend him or her, whatever you want to put on a thing that needs no name to be defined. Trust the process, trust what you feel, you won't go wrong, you will be led, and you will lead. So much love, thank you so much for listening, thank you so much for sharing, share, 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 share this, share this, share this. Send to someone that you love that you want them to know how much they are loved. Blessings, blessings, blessings. May the warrior spirit inside of you live, flourish. Thank you.